Ready to do some science? Today we're going to do a neat experiment that's going to show what can happen in the body when sugar from the food you eat meets up with the bacteria in your gut. So check this out. Here you can see we have four bottles. Think of these bottles as your gut. Each bottle contains one package of yeast, and I'm going to put it in right now. I've also put in a cup of water in each of these. Here goes the yeast. And each bottle gets the exact same amount of yeast. Okay, now we're going to add some sugar. So imagine this is the sugar you're getting when you eat a bagel, a muffin, or even a piece of fruit. Okay, the first bottle gets no sugar. The second bottle gets two teaspoons. The third bottle gets three teaspoons. And we'll add just one teaspoon of sugar to this last bottle. Okay, now we've got a cup of warm water in each of these bottles. So let's give everything a gentle mix. So this represents your body metabolizing or breaking down the sugar. Now here comes the fun part. We'll put a balloon over the spout of each bottle. Perfect. Now these bottles need to sit for a bit. Ready to see what happened? Look at this! the balloon covering the bottle with the most sugar grew to the largest size. On the other hand, the balloon with the bottle with no sugar didn't inflate at all. And this same reaction can happen in your body when we eat sugar. Our gut bacteria feeds on the sugar, breaks it down, and a waste product is released. You guessed it, gas. So now it's easy to see why after eating processed foods, carbs, and sugars, we tend to feel bloated uncomfortable and gassy. And that's just the start of what sugar can be doing to your body. Because an inefficient digestive system can cause your metabolism to slow down, leading to unwanted weight gain and other health issues. So reducing your sugar intake can help if you're feeling bloated or gassy lately.